Hello YouTube, I fix it all here, team I fix it all. Today's goal was to uh, uh, design a passive skimmer that um, I have a tool here that has a net on one end and a scrub brush on the other. But I got to thinking, why can't I make something that catches items that are floating so what I've got here is a piece of bamboo then I have a piece of window screen that is framed out with a piece of scrap coax cable and it's kind of cupped on the back to be like a, maybe a one inch deep basket, so to speak. I just did a running stitch around the coax through the screen. And what's happening is that little red ball there is, if you watch it move its trajectory, it gets pushed by the fountain pump things just kind of go around like this and then eventually they get caught up in this so I'm gonna take this uh, out and we'll see what we caught but it's uh, working really well there we go I've got to perfect this but hmm. okay so I see a design problem but it's quite all right let me fold this for a minute where to go where to go I think I just set it right here all right, you can see what I caught just by it hanging in the hanging in the wind there. I'm trying to get the better view of it. There you go. And let me fix this. You can almost see how I've got it stitched all the way around the coax as though it's just a real shallow basket. What I think I'll do is, so I don't have to reach in the water like that, <clears throat> because it was kind of hokey. I was about to lose material, not that I mind reaching in the water, it was just that I think there's a flaw there. I think what I'll do is I'll run a piece of string from right here. Let's see if I can get a better view of that basket concept I'm talking about. You guys can see that, right? It's just oh, about that deep. The idea is this faces the incoming water and then anything that uh, gets, it's harder for it to get around the, the frame. I think I'll run a string from here straight up to here to a eyelet screw right here I'll run a string from here tie it off bring it through that eyelet and then down here I'll slot this in so I can store this string by putting it in the slot and then when I want to take it out of the water, uh, take this out of the water, step one is pull on the string, it'll do this. And then I can lift it up out of the water. This will help me not drop any debris back into the water. That's quite a good bit of junk it picked up by just sitting there doing nothing for three hours. Um, I don't know if they make anything like this, but... I might be on to something. It's just a passive skimmer.
and the, uh, the the top of the pond is really clean. I got a couple of bugs, but they're not alive. I've already checked. But um, not everything is gone, but most everything is. Hardly any floaties at all. This whole thing is working really well. I broomed it last night once. I'm going to broom it again today. Like I said, I'll probably come out and broom it once a day, a couple times a day. And then run my passive skimmer. And from that point, hey, seems like I got something going on here. All right, guys. See ya. Bye.